Hello and welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Deep Soul Boost. I was thinking about making multiple series regarding this, so this is part one. A lot of people are asking me, is Deep Soul Boost good? I mean, I say always yes, if you use it correctly. So I've been using this for around two years now, and there are some pitfalls. However, if you overcome this pitfall, it's just a game changer. Just like back in the days, if you look at the power imaging, Everybody uses that today, right? So there are pitfalls regarding our imaging as well. But if you know how to overcome that, you will get good images. So we're gonna dive into the spine today, the lumbar spine. I'm just gonna show a few tips there. And what I'm about to show you today might not work as for MSK wrist or knee. So it's very difficult regarding that. It works here, but doesn't work there. So you need to know what you're doing. However, stick around and I will show you. For those who are new, my name is Macken again. I'm an Amarai radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So like I said, I've been using Deep Resort Blues for around two years or so. And in the beginning, there were some pitfalls, which of course, I didn't know what I was doing exactly. I got two smooth images. I got these kind of artifacts, which I've never seen before, but I know how to overcome that. And now images are getting better and better. However, I'm learning by doing so every day I learn new things. So I'm going to try to share with you. Let's go to the scan and I will show you. All right, we are at 3T. It's a XA50 software. Nonetheless, we're going to do a spine. So I'm just going to do an overview here of the spine. Let's do a T2 weighted sagittal. Just going to do some positioning here. So we have a nice image to, to, to show you. Okay, so what I'm about to show is some people are using one block like I'm using here, or some are divided in multiple stacks for the transversal part, right? So we're going to go for the transversal today. So I'm going to go for a big block like I'm showing here now. So I'm just going to do a few slices here just to make it a little bit faster so I can show you. All right, so if we go into resolution, acceleration, there are some which is called reference scans right here. So if we open here, we can see now there are two options, integrated or TSC separate. So this is might be confusing because sometimes it's working great here for this anatomy and for this weighted, and sometimes it doesn't work at all. So you need somehow know what you're doing, right? You are now at the hip or you're now at the knee, you know which, which works or which, which you can combine. So let's go for the transversion for the spine. We're going to test those two, integrated and TSC separate without any modification of the parameters should be as, as the same as possible. So with integrated, as you can see now, I have acceleration factor path four. So it's a very high acceleration, which is unusual if you're not using a deep resolve, right? So in here, if you push this button, you can see here, it boost is on and the sharp is on. Another thing is the denoising stripe. You can show between low, medium, or high. So whenever I'm using integrated, I tend to stay at the medium. And I will show you why. So let's check this out. So this is the difference. We are using the integrated mode. Both of the scaffs are exactly the same. I just did a retrospective reconstruction. So put the, the deep resolve, the, the hard on, just to, sh to show you. And you, as you can see here, this is the medium. It's a little bit noisy, which many radiologists like. But in the, for the integrated hard, you can see it's a little bit smooth and it's a little bit uh, somehow the the, the artifacts uh, you can see here. There's the streaking artifacts here. This the kind of smearing artifacts, which is not great at all. So it's also too too smooth right here. But then again, it depends on your, on your radiologist references. I really like this part here because it's a little bit noise and okay it's more like what we used to right okay so let's continue and i will do some scans and we're gonna compare them later so i'm just gonna close this one and um, just gonna try to position here just wait for the t2 to finish and then we can do a perpendicular and you can see it positioned in perfect there corner plane and we're going to rename this to integrated and we're going to scan 
And the next one is called TSE separate. So it's exactly the same parameter settings, everything. Just going to change the reference scan to TSE separate. So we are also using a medium for TSE separate. And if I continue, usually when I'm at TEC separate, I'm going for hard. And most of the time I go for hard because whenever you're using TEC separate, the image is not that very smooth as you saw with integrated. And so using hard, it's some, it's usually okay, but you need to look at the images. Okay. Just a pinpoint from me tips. Our meters are exactly the same. So uh, we're going to scan those two. All right. So let's check the results. All right, so this is the result. As you can see, the integrated versus the TC separate. The first thing I notice whenever using TC separate for this part of region or Oregon, you can see the CSF is a little bit gray, right? It's less bright as it should be. That's one thing. Another thing is that you can somehow see some kind of artifacts right here. It's not there. But nonetheless, it's not inside an area of interest. However, um, the CSF is not good here. So let's go a little bit further, step a little bit lower. You can see here the images are much better here and here it's almost the same. The CSF is gray. It's not good. The next step here, it starts to get in the lower part. The most lower part is the CSF starts to, to be bright. However, you can see there are some gray in there. Some are not good at all. So for this case, I will use the integrated. Okay. For transversal lumbar spine, I will use the integrated. However, you should test it out, but this is some tips and tricks for you. You can test it out. If you're not happy with the TC separate, not happy with the, with the spine, you can test this. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Nonetheless, there are so many tips and tricks when it comes to DRB. So if you have any requests when it comes to DRB, just pop the question in a comment and I will try to find time to make a video or try to explain if I know how to resolve that. Nonetheless, I want to thank you for watching my video today. And if you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, so we get a ding ding whenever new videos for me are coming up. I will catch up with you in my next video. Peace out, take care, bye bye.